Hi everyone, happy Monday. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit probably about what's been going on at the end of the video, but I do want to get straight to the flip through, especially because this is a new release flip through. The video schedule will be a little different this week as well, which I will talk about at the end. But um, again, everything I need to tell y'all is going to be at the end. <laughs> but I'm doing that so that we can cover this because this is a new release flip through and um, I wanted to go ahead and get this out today. This was released I believe October 21st. I did get it I think last week I just haven't had a chance to do a video until now and um, so I wanted to cover this one today. This is Fantasy Landscapes by Color Questopia. Um, if you are familiar with Color Questopia books in the past, um, typically they have a white mosaic kind of background. I'm trying to get a hold of one of mine. If it will come here, here you are. Um, these used to come in just a white mosaic type background with white lines and you had, I think, this was your total color palette, but um, how many are here? Five, six, seven, eight, so 44, 44 colors, I guess. Um, 44 different colors that you could use. Well, um, Color Quest Obia has made some changes. They still offer the white lines and the white um, background for their images. But for their books, they are now starting to offer a black background option, which for me is super exciting because, as y'all have seen, I like to black out my lines. It's I'm messy when I color, so it's a lot easier for me to do that to cover up my, my mistakes. They are also putting out some more complex, I guess, color by numbers, which this is one I would call complex. They also now have a 50 color palette. So um, if you want to take a look back here, it is a little more sorted, not quite as all over the place as they've had previously. So they have been listening. A lot of people have been making, you know, suggestions and stuff, and I think they've been listening. So that is super cool. If you haven't looked at the Color Questopia books lately, like I said, they have been making some changes so definitely go look them up they have a lot of good books out lately i just <laughs> again mindful buying not doing great but i'm doing okay this is fantasy landscapes it is a amazon printed book roughly eight and a half by eleven oreo i promise you i will turn you into a purse <laughs> Don't rub against my hand. Don't you rub against my hands. Oh my gosh, y'all. He's been doing well, as you can tell. Okay, anyway. Amazon printed book, roughly 8.5 by 11. Um, you've seen the front and back cover. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here's the title page. I will try to do this around him. Worst case, I will. I will remove him. A magical extreme adult color by number. Oh my gosh, he's rubbing my chin, y'all. He is not normally this lovey. It's one of those things you... Oh, and say hello to his dandruff. <laughs> he's purring in my ear. Oh my gosh. Um, magical extreme adult color by number book of hidden. Here I was trying to be straight and to the point. And he's like, nope, not, not your channel, mommy. Book of Detailed Hidden Nature, Secret Gardens, and Fairy Tale Cities. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so here is some info. There's social media information. There's their Facebook link, Instagram, email. Don't you dare stop my video. Color by number tips. So every color in every book is shown on the back of the book. Each number corresponds to a color shown on the back of the book. Because this is our new system, there may be colors and numbers on the back that aren't in this book. That's okay. I'm curious to know if they're the same colors across the board. 
I wonder if anybody else, I haven't bought any of their newer books, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot to unpack here on this first picture. <laughs> like I said, their previous books, I love their books, but their previous books, granted the gnome coloring books, a little more detailed. But their, their color by number books have not been super complex, um, in my opinion, in the past. So, this is kind of like the old version versus the new version. <laughs> Now, again, keep in mind, they do have this with the white lines as well. I just prefer the black lines so I don't have to put them in myself, and I just like the look of them better. So they do print all 50 colors on the back of every page, which is nice. You don't have to flip back and forth to get your, num your colors, but um, other people have said, and I kind of echo it, it would be... With so many colors, it would be a whole lot easier if they would just put the colors you're going to use here, but, you know, it's, it's fine. It's not a huge thing. Okay, so here's the picture. Again, much more complex, um, smaller areas to fill in here. The numbers have moved, are, are more of a gray. They were gray in the other book as well, so... They st are still gray, but because they're smaller sections, some of the numbers are kind of hard to see. Um, this, I would say some of their older books are probably easier on the eyes if you ha have, you know, issues with your sight and stuff. This one, you may need a magnifying glass because, like I said, this, this number here is not super small, but because it's light gray and there's so much of the black background around it, it might be a little hard to see. So, I wish there was less border. I wish the image was bigger with a little bit smaller border. And maybe if it was bigger, the numbers could also be bigger. That would be like, if I had a complaint about these books and how these pages look, that's what I would suggest. But, I do really like these images. course it would help if you could see the whole thing huh there we go now again this is fantasy landscapes are they all oh well they said landscapes so no they're not all they're not all they're all landscapes but they're not all landscape format there we go so, if you're a fan, let's say, of George Dufexis type color by number, any color by number that has a lot of smaller areas to color, um, I would also put, let me back this out a little, there we go. I would also put, um, why can't I think of the name of the book? I would also put the Mindware Mosaic, not mystery mosaics color counts that's it i would put the mind where color counts kind of in this category too if you like those types of books you'll probably like this this book this format jeez took me a minute hoping for a little more fantasy and it might come out in the colors that might be where this this really shines is in the different colors because these so a lot of these look pretty straightforward but if the colors are vastly di different in them then that could definitely um, add a lot of variety to them but when I think of fantasy landscapes, like the one that had the dragon in it, you know, I'm thinking more like castles and maybe like wizards and I'm thinking of some fantasy characters kind of mixed in as well. Like this is a good one right here. But I do like landscapes a lot, so I like this book nonetheless. I just... Until I get into it and actually start coloring them, 
again if they are unique fantasy type colors then I I could see that a little more so yeah I will I will withhold my my full opinion on this till I actually get in here and start coloring kind of torn on how these will work in a low light setting um, some of the numbers are hard to see but with the black lines I also don't have to be quite as neat on my borders like I do with the white um, with the white lines so because I tend to color I tend to not be so precise especially with marker coloring and um, in low in the living room. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, maybe twenty or twenty-one. Did it say on the back? No. Okay, well, I'll just put it in the description. Sorry, guys. I am super scattered today. Anyway, it's at least 20 pictures, and then you get to their other books, which is all right. I kind of, I, I like having samples from the other books, but I feel like they could put more images from the book itself in there and maybe less sample pages, but... I would also like to see Color Questovia do like a best of or a showcase book that shows that has a sample page from a lot of their books. Just a whole book of those would be nice. Like uh, Jade Summer and Sun Life Drawing have done, like the fan favorites or what you would call them. Space Coloring Book with the black background. This is one I would like. I just, um, I think this one's just going to be on my wish list for now. This looks like this is still the old color scheme. National Parks with a black background. This is the new one. Oh, and they also list what the park is. That's super cool. It's right there. Sorry. I wonder if that would include Mammoth Cave. That's like the big national park near me. The autumn black background is also one I would like to have eventually, so... I really do. I, I am such a fan of the black backgrounds, but I am not. If I already have the book with the white lines, it's I don't have the room to go back and buy the black lined version. I also want the camping one, I think. So many. They have a lot of, a lot of really nice new ones out. And like I said, you can get them like this, or they also have the white lined version. Now, are they going to go back to some of their old ones and release them with the black backgrounds? That I don't know. I've not heard one way or another. Like, this is one of their older books. Significant Otter, which I love the name of that one. And then please leave us a review on Amazon. And we are done. Okay, so what do I want to do? Hmm, I kind of want to start one. And just that way I have something I'm doing while I'm talking to y'all. I don't know which one really grabbed me. Maybe we should just do the first one with the dragon. I kind of like the first one with the dragon. Yeah, let's just do this one. So yeah, quite a large uh, color legend with 50 here. I think it will be a little bit of challenge to find like you've got yellows from 7 to 10. You've got oranges through like 15. That's a lot of different types of yellows and oranges. Um, that might be a bit of a challenge to find. All right, 35 is... Okay, what the heck is the difference between a light violet and a soft violet? Okay, so the light violet is more like a pinky purple, and the soft violet is probably more like a blue-ish, like a periwinkle, I guess. All right, so... 
35, I says light violet, which, like I said, is more like a purpley. Hang on a tick. Yeah, okay. So we'll call this light violet. Alright. Mm. So, yeah, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. I just, like I said, wanted something y'all could actually see what I'm doing. I'm not even going to label this an official color in chat. I'm just going to call it an update at the end. Um, so, I posted on the community page. Oh my gosh, Maggie. <laughs> he knew I was about to start talking about him. Um, Friday... We got kind of updates on all three, or at least through the week. And two out of the three are are better. Sidonia's actually gained a few ounces. We've decided instead, of, due to her age, um, since she is gaining, maintaining, um, we want to just continue on with the short-acting steroid shots, the deck shots, um, a couple times a week. She's still going to take, speaking of which, I need to go do that right after I end this. Um, she's still going to take Serenia and something, I think it's Metronidazole, um, too, for the next few weeks. And we're going to see if it's just basically IBD um, and the deck shots should help maintain it encourage her to eat maybe eventually our plan is to cut down on the number of shots and stuff oh this is so much easier with those black lines y'all if this was all the white lines i would be just very delicately coloring these in i'm actually acting more careful than i probably should be right now but um so yeah no surgery um we're just gonna stick with the shots right now and hope and she's still through the weekend and everything seemed to be doing well so um good for her oreo has been a much more active i have switched instead of doing um it takes a whole all kinds of different medicine the poor thing um i switched his amitriptyline to the transdermal version instead of the pill and it's like that's, that helps a lot with his focal seizures and his bobbing. And it seems to have... The problem is it's, it makes him very sluggish. So the good news is he is definitely more active, as you could see. Much more lovey, much more awake. His bobbing's increased a little, but I don't think it's enough to be like, it's a problem. Um, I think... I think I settled on a compromise where he gets the pill, like, he gets the medicine twice a day, and I think I've settled on where he might get the pill at night every other day, um, and then get the transdermal the rest of the time. Just enough to keep it in a system so he's not just completely off the rails bobbing and super anxious and everything. But we got the phosphorus. It's like, it's called aluminum hydroxide powder. It's supposed to help bind the phosphorus in the food that he's eating because he has too much phosphorus in his, in his blood. Um, he's also anemic because of the late stage chronic kidney disease. Um, his kidneys aren't functioning enough to tell his bone marrow to, hey, kick up the production of red blood cells. So his... He's not producing as many red blood cells as he should be. Jeez, I'm trying to see if there's any more 35s, and it's a little hard to tell. Don't think so. Alright, so now we're to 37, which is flat out violet. Which I better make sure I guess this actually matches. I don't think we have a 38, so I'll have to go look for a dark purple in that case, I guess if we do somewhere um oh there is a 38 i will be i will be gosh darned gosh darned yo we'll just we'll do that and then we'll use that one as the dark violet um 
so I figured out you're supposed to be at look I have I have gabapent which is a powder for him and then I have the aluminum hydroxide powder and the vet was like oh you should be able to sprinkle on the food you won't have a problem it's tasteless and odorless and I'm like no trust me they know they know I will act like it is not any different and they will walk away and I was like I'll try it you know but in my head I'm like it's not gonna work and sure enough I tried the aluminum hydroxide powder and he sniffed it and just walked away and I was like well so now I just mix it with a little bit of water and give it to him through a little syringe um, before he eats he's fine with that I do the same thing with his gabapentin and that has worked wonderfully for him so he has to have that the aluminum hydroxide three times a day though before each meal so and he has to so he's eating three times a day well yeah we're not going to talk about the food puzzle right now i'm gonna save that for the full color in chat um the only one that's still struggling is magellan or maggie um she redid his blood work and it was definitely not improved it was actually a little worse um so the antibiotic he has is not strong enough so they had to switch his antibiotic he's got to go back for a recheck actually i got to reschedule his recheck um but he's got to go back for a recheck in the beginning of next week and he's also getting sub q fluids every other day which let me tell you is not fun his first time i had to do it was last night and there was growling and just general unpleasantness so i'm also supposed to be doing it with oreo once a week and we haven't tried him yet and something tells me maybe i'll do that <laughs> after <laughs> on the days that he's not quite so um aggressive maybe maybe i don't want to lose any fingers during this process and um so yeah i am worried about magellan he has been extra clingy i have i can't give him any of his medicine so he's been super cranky with the other cats and i still have my trusty water spray bottle but it's so hard to get on to him because i know he's not feeling good you know and he's still taking his pain meds and stuff so he's not super uncomfortable but he is definitely uh cranky pants and he's also very um very clingy at night if i'm laying in bed like if i'm laying facing this way he gets under the covers right here and if i roll over he will get out of the covers come around <laughs> and get back in and it's it's so sweet and i feel so bad for him so it's like i can't fuss at him about it i'm not getting a lot of sleep here but oh there are more purples dag nabited dag nabited all right what is this this is magenta but maybe this will work as purple <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really look purple. Oh. See, this is why I probably should have... Okay, we're going to do a different color. What is 33? It's probably another purple. It's another purple. What is with all the purples? Okay, what's 28? A light pink. I, yeah. This is going to be real hard, y'all. I just, I can't, I struggled when Jade Summer did their, um, look at Cherry Blossom Pink. When Jade Summer did their first, yeah, that's a good white pink. Jade Summer did their first color by number a few months ago. Um, I had some issue with their, um, color chart just because even with a really big marker set it can be really hard to match some of these if you have more than four or five in a certain color family and um that's where multiple sets a lot of times ha come in handy and um and i had issue with that and that's 
And that's the thing. I would say any color by number book that has more than three colors in a color family, and even for certain colors that's pushing it, like oranges and purples and stuff, not a lot of color sets have a variety in those colors. You have to, you know, have a variety of sets in order to do it, unless you use colored pencils, or you use like gray markers and stuff to, or multiple layers to achieve your results. And I have a feeling in this book, I'm going to have to get a little creative with the colors even with all the markers that I have <laughs> and I'm not bragging trust me that's more that's a, that's a turning more into a PITA than anything at this point um okay so then we just got pink why don't I just let's just grab the pink from Blick Studio um and that's 29. So yeah. I'm going to have to pull all my markers probably for a picture beforehand. Because it's going to get really difficult otherwise. God, I can't even read what the eye is supposed to be. I'm going to actually have to get my magnifying glass for that. So yeah, I feel like... When it comes to color by number, I feel like there there needs to be a balance stru struck between visibility of the numbers and complexity of the picture. Like, I love complex pictures. I love George Tufexis' books, but I'm not going to lie. There's some of them, some of his more recent ones, I feel like the numbers are lighter and they're a little harder to see. And again, this is where the numbers aren't necessarily small, but they are light. And with the complexity of the picture added into that, it makes it really hard to see some of these. And I get it. I get some, a lot of people, when they do color by number, they don't want to be able to see the numbers. But I'm kind of like, I get it, but I'm also kind of like, look. If I wanted a page that didn't have the numbers in it, I wouldn't color in a color by number book, you know? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm tired, I'm stressed out, and I'm just cranky. I'm going to be a cranky pants today. Because I'm just saying, like, if you were looking at a color by number book and you're like, but I don't want to see the numbers, then why in the Sam heck are you looking at a color by number book? Then... Get there are tons of books. There's like Sun Life Drawing offers a number of books where they have a color by number version and then they have a version that's just fine art. I mean, it's. Again, it, it does make a nice aesthetic when you can't see the numbers, but I am tired of looking for purples. All right. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to spin over here. Oh boy. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Oh, wait, we've got more 28s over here. Okay, there. Let's just do that. Let's just look for the same colors of what I already have. This is why I couldn't do a color and chat today. I am in no mood for foolishness today. But, I mean, seriously. Again, it's really pretty when it's done and you don't see a lot of the colors. I mean, a lot of the numbers. I mean, yeah, that's kind of nice. But if I didn't want a dabbling color by number book, I wouldn't buy a color by number book. So all of you who have, are making color by number books, quit making the damn numbers so hard to see. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> I said it. Now I'm going to have to go and mark my video. See what y'all made me do. <laughs> Sorry. I, I know it probably offended some, some of you. Because you know I don't do that very often. But it, is, it has been a thing, y'all. It has been a thing. Anyway. So this wasn't really a color and chat. I guess this is more a color and update. And kind of show you how this goes. Again, I really dig the black lines. Like, I don't have to be so 
teensy wins especially in these little small areas here i don't have to be so careful and not try to especially with markers that bleed um i don't have to be so careful about getting into or having it bleed into the white lines so that's really nice um but these hard to read numbers y'all are killing me like I said, there's got to be a balance between complexity and being able to see the numbers in a color by number book. And this one is already frustrating me a little because I'm in strong light. You can see I have two different lights on right now and I am trying not to get into the camera leaning over and I still feel like I need my magnifying glass for some of these. So I am a little bit bummed about that. Well, more than a little bit bummed, but y'all get the idea. Anyway, I'm going to stop there because <laughs> I don't see this going anywhere positive. <laughs> anyway, the, the good news is that two of the cats are doing much better. Um, Magellan's still struggling, though. I think he is a little better than he was last week, but I'd, he, he'll be about halfway through the antibiotic tomorrow. I don't think he's made vast improvements, so... Um, but then I also have, I think he's getting into it somewhere right now. It's, it's touch and go with him. So I am worried about him. Um, this week is going to be a week. I really just need to game. I need to watch TV that is not related to what is going on right now in the U S because I am super stressed out as y'all can tell. This is why we don't need to do a color and chat anytime this week. Um, as y'all can see, <laughs> this is why I don't. And some of y'all are like, please, please, because your filter is gone and we want to hear you without your filter. And I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. Um, anyway, the schedule for the week is going to be a little different. Um, this was a new release I wanted to cover today since this has been out fairly recently. Um, I, I'm getting another new release that I know a lot of you are going to be super excited about if you haven't already heard about it. And yes, I ordered another new book. Um, but this one I knew I was going to get and I knew it was coming soon. I'll probably do that one on Wednesday is what I'm thinking. Um, and then Friday I'm actually going to do my completed pages from October, which of course did not turn out the way I wanted. Um, but nonetheless, I do have them and I want to do that video. So Friday will probably not have the standard flip through Friday. Um, you'll just get a couple new release videos this week. My hope is to have a color and chat maybe on Sunday. Um, that is kind of the goal right now, but we're just going to have to see how the rest of the week goes. I'll be honest, y'all, other than getting, going and getting the cats some medicine, possibly, we are just, we're just, we're hunkered down for the week. Um, I don't really want to leave the house. And like I said, I, other than work, and planning to try to distract myself as much as possible. Just no matter where you're at in the world, just stay safe. There's a lot going on. 2020 is not done with us yet. Um, and um, cases are going up around here. Don't get me even started on that either. There's just a whole lot of stuff that I'm having to stay just because I care about people and I don't want to piss anybody off. But there's a lot of things going on right now that I just want to go on a full on edge rant about. And I don't need to. It's not going to be productive. It's not going to be helpful for anything other than probably just getting my anger out. And while that's helpful, I don't want to lose any friends over it. So just everybody else, please just stay safe. If you can and you haven't been able to, please go vote or think about voting whoever you plan to vote for in the U.S. elections tomorrow. Your local government is of extreme importance. Um, everybody's focused on the big, big boys, but trust me, my local city council that I served on myself, um, I've seen it. I've seen seats determined by as much as a handful of votes because our community is so small here and I have two very close friends that are running for city council and you know I'm nervous about them but like I said your local government makes a, a lot of your day-to-day -day stuff involving like your taxes and your your city taxes if you're in a city 
things like that um, all get determined by like your city or your county or your uh, parish or wherever you happen to be local government's extremely important guys so definitely learn who who's running for your local government and and be sure to learn about them as well so I can't emphasize that enough if anything your local government's probably going to impact you more than the federal will not open for discussion on the comments on that but I'm just saying like for your immediate things like your your utility bills and and things like that so anyway guys everybody please stay safe um, try to stay sane if you can color if you can play video games anything you can do to just try to distract you from what's going on right now this would definitely be the week to do it so and I plan on doing the same <laughs> so y'all take care um, and I'll see you soon bye for now